Well, the image is one thing, and a human being is another, you know. It's, 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 it's very hard to live up to an image, I'll put it that way. Welcome back to Caffeinated by Elvis, where in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the update on this fraudulent business trying to steal Graceland, essentially. So we talked about this in a video the other day, and here is the update. So the judge has halted this entire thing of this company trying to buy Graceland. The judge said, quote, Graceland is a part of this community, well loved by this community and indeed around the world. And so here is what the AP has to say about this. They did a good job on this piece. Adrian Sainz did a good job writing this from AP as well as Heather Hollingsworth. So they make note to say that Nosani Investments and Private Lending said Lisa Marie had used Graceland as collateral for the loan. According to the foreclosure sale notice, a lawsuit filed by Riley alleged that Nosani presented fraudulent documents regarding this loan in September 2023, saying Lisa Marie never borrowed money and never gave a deed of trust to Nosani Investments. Neither Riley nor lawyers for Nosani Investments were in court Wednesday, however, but her attorney said outside of the court that he has not had direct contact with any of these representatives from Nusani because, again, it's a fraudulent company, so obviously there's not going to be any. However, this company did file an unsuccessful motion denying the lawsuit's allegations and opposing the estate's request for an injunction. A statement emailed to the AP after Wednesday's ruling said Nusani would not proceed because a key document in the case and loan were recorded and obtained in a different state, meaning that legal action would have to be filed in multiple states. The statement, which was sent from an email address listed in court documents, did not even specify the other state. And the statement said the company will be withdrawing all claims with prejudice. The court documents included addresses for this supposed company, one in Jacksonville, Florida, and another in Hollister, Missouri. However, both were for post offices. And in Kimberling City, Missouri, reference was for a post office box. The business also is not listed in state databases or registered corporations in either Missouri or Florida. Kimberly Philbrick, the notary whose name is listed on Nusani's documents, indicated that she has never met Lisa Marie nor notarized any documents for her, according to the estate's lawsuit. The judge said that notary's affidavit included in the lawsuit brings into question the authenticity of the signature, which, again, essentially just means notary said this didn't happen, signature likely a forgery. So there's that. So essentially, Graceland's going to continue operating as normal, and we'll see if anything else becomes of this. But like I said the other day, this was a scam from the beginning, and it seems to definitely be that way with this company registered to post offices and the notary who supposedly listed on this saying, yeah, I never did any of this. This is never actually something that happened. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to take care of business, and until we meet again, may God bless you. Adios.